Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Europa Universe House 4 as the Russian Empire. Let's clear out these rebels here. Um, so, just have some wrapping up to do. Honestly, we are almost done. Let's finish up this Siberian frontier. We need to wake our way over into Alaska. Um, you guys have allies over here. So let's get you guys over here. How's my... Hmm... Not very much. Admittedly, I'm not really trying a whole lot. Uh, so this is not cored up yet, but it... And it's not... Oh, it is all cored up. Very good. So we will perma... We will core it all up. We will go with... Guess we don't really need anything here. We just need to um, dev this up. We need to reduce that autonomy. Actually, let's just reduce the autonomy in all three of them. Why not? A little bit of uh, extra absolutism, and then we are going to dev that up just a bit. Um, not too much. So let's actually dev cost, and then, yeah, that's probably plenty. So that gold income is going to be nice. Very good. And then uh, we'll have some rebels that we can suppress as well. So that'll be good. Um, Let's get you guys over here. Support the church authorities. Do we need the inflation reduction? It wouldn't hell hurt, but I'd rather have the patriarch authority. Just need to come over here and wipe these guys out. I think I'll just split the army. It takes so long to walk in Siberia. Uh, Poland claimed a province for their own, which is a little funny and cute. Very cute. Um, Trade League of Aberdeen, huh? I still do not understand how these cities, like City of York. I need to look into this, because Grand Republic, I really need to find out how this works. I wonder if it's like Merchant Republics can force certain types of releases, because I've seen it like Venice will have them, but they'll be uh, vassals of Venice and stuff like that. So who are you guys are just allied to each other, so I can just co-belligerent, holy war. Uh, let's get you over here. And get you down on their capital. Hopefully we got a stack wipe there. I assume that much. What's your mil tech? 12? 12, 12 to 20? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty bad. All right, so let's actually take the time to build up some manufactories. And how are we looking on po possibility? Has a naval equipment manufactory. Oh, I need it in Tver. Has a workshop. Okay, so let's actually cancel one somewhere. Oops. Cancel that one and build it in Tver. It probably won't be done in time, actually, which is kind of a bummer. Do some conversions. I would rather not convert for you. All right, and then let's just uh, finish up this war here. Ideally, I'd be able to attack Poland, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen because Poland joined the, uh, the Empire like a bunch of sissy babies. We literally have one cannon over here. Let's, um... Build a couple more cannons, huh? <clears throat> I've done all this expansion and I haven't added to my army at all. And as far as infantry goes, we have all the Streltsy we're ever going to need. So, yeah, at this point it's kind of not really worth worrying about it. So, let us... Let me see here. I should state some stuff up. Moldavia. So, let's state this up. And then let's also... So it all has really low autonomy anyways, so that's pretty good. Um, Transoxiana is over here, so let's state that up. And then it all has low autonomy. Why does it all have such low autonomy? That's crazy. So we're definitely going to get rebels over here. They're pretty expensive to put down, so I think maybe we'll wait. We're going to get that pretty soon though, so hopefully it comes soon. Alright, so we won that siege. Just one more over here. 
Nope, wrong button. There we go. What's the siege tick? 26 days? It's not bad. Integration is a slow process. Ryzen is now part of the Russian Empire. Very good. We get that name. Haha. <laughs> I like it. Alright. Uh, consolidate Russia. So, permanent claim on a bunch of more regions. Conquer Finland. Morale of armies. Land attrition. More permanent claims and autonomy change. Trade efficiency. Sailors. And then Romania. So, permanent claim on Bulgaria region. So, let's see where all these claims are. It's all claims that of land that I already own except for Poland. So, that's a little funny. Um, let's see here. Dagestan. Down here. So let's do that and pour that all up. And we're actually going to reduce that autonomy over here. So let's do that. A little bit of uh, unrest. And then Tangri Separatists. I don't know. All right. Keep on converting. Uh, universities are the next thing up on the docket, but we're gonna we're gonna take it one one step at a time. So let's put you guys over here. I guess this is farmlands. No forest. Misread it. So it should be. Tver. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Wait, oh, the rest, I was like, where's the rest of my army? 23k, right? Should be about 26 now. 27. Cool. Alright, so this is not land worth worrying about. So let's get you guys over there. Base rebel size. Some decent stack of rebels. Alright, unfortunately we did not get it. Where did it spawn? India, huh? Bangladesh? All right, so coach got it or cock <laughs> you? No. Um All right, cool. Well, let's see here. Um patriarch authority Jeez, that's a lot. Um I suppose we go with institution spread and embracement cost and then do this and then we just kill the rebels, right? So let's do that. And where was the other one at? Just randomly up here somewhere. So this is my Ryzon army, I assume. Almost all infantry. Gotta love it. I'm gonna disband that army, actually. <clears throat> but I'll use them first. Um, take some money, please. And then let's see here. Let's get some useful forts up. What do you say? Um, build one in Warsaw. And then probably one in this Tarno. One more month, I can build another one. Killed off all the rebels, very good. And continue the conversions. I'm not sure what Norway needs to do to form... Um, Scandinavia. I should probably look into that. So Austria will join them. Who are you allied to? Not Ferrara anymore, which was the big one that was like super big pain in my bum. Bohemia won't join because they have a truce. Till when? February? I'll think about it. I think it's probably in my best interest. When's our truce with the Ottomans up? It is up. Well, if that's the case, then we're definitely just going to con conquest them. It's a bummer that I don't have Holy War, but I don't care a whole lot. All right, cool. Let's get you down here and get you over there. One army is going to be plenty. Uh, let's just disband you guys because taking money that I don't really want to spend. Though I do have a 27 stack over there, but that's more for rebel suppression. So... Alright. If you guys haven't already done it, make sure you check out the Discord. I put some time into that, and I would appreciate it if you took some time to check it out. I think you guys would like it, especially because it's a good place for the community to kind of interact. 
Um, we've cultivated a decent amount of community here in the comment section, and I would love to help spread that um, via chat rooms. So if you guys want to check that out, go ahead. And I actually have a Twitter as well that I'm trying to be more active in. So go ahead and uh, check that out as well. If you like the Twitters, you can follow me on there. All right. Um, well, now we're just trying to siege us all down, and he's literally just losing a lot of men to attrition. I'm not going to call him in. I'll call him in against Austria. That'll be more useful because he'll be good cannon fodder. Right now, he'll just send his army down. They'll get killed, and it's like, okay, very good. Was that worth it? So, Wallachia... Bulgaria has an army. Barely. Wallachia does not. Prussia... No debt. Nitra... Debt. Norway... Lots of debt. Very good. All right, so you are going up to Burgas, so let's see if we can meet you up there. Land fire damage, morale recovery. So let's see if we can meet you up there and get a quick battle win. When they aren't rolling really good against us. Nope, we're going to lose that. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. It's just it's the Ottomans, that's all. It's just the Ottomans and their carpet sieging me over here, so that's fun. It's fine. It's fine. Ottomans are not OP, even when they're getting beat up on by Russia. Alright. Let's get these guys down here as well. Put Constantine on here. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Spend some stuff over here. I would rather you didn't carpet siege me. I need to get better forts on my border. I really think that that's the, uh, the moral of this story. Um, treasury is fine. Okay, I did not mean to uh, put both of my armies in the same spot, but whatever, I suppose. So let's just uh, siege that down. Take Constantinople ASAP, especially because it's the war goal. They have their army just casually up here in the middle of Russia. And we'll just win down this siege and then we'll keep moving, right? Their navy got wiped out. They have a few heavies. It's mostly Yemen, which they're probably down here, so I'm not worried about that navy at all. We lost the Siege of Rizan. I want to win this siege. How about that? Why is it taking so long? Oh my goodness. Now that's a little, uh, this looks like that one meme of like the little white girl sitting on the couch with the black dude standing behind her. That's what this looks like right now. That's a bummer. Hopefully it doesn't get stack wiped. Nope, we're good. Let's get you up here to rise on, see if we can seat that down. Alright. Uh, meanwhile, we'll just keep these two stacks over here to watch the war goal. Dang, what? What's your... What? Bro. How? Tell me how this is fielding 100,000 men. More than that. 100, 110, 115,000 men the Ottomans are fielding. 125,000 men, and they have zero manpower. They're all mercs. What's their finances looking like? Oh, okay. Well, I don't feel as bad anymore now. And they have a Regency Council. Ottomans are going down. All right. Well, that makes me feel a lot better now, knowing that that their entire uh, empire is in shambles. All right. Let's build a couple of university ads over here. How about in these provinces here and there? Oh. Build one in Tiver. There we go. And how about Yaroslavl? We'll build one in Ryzon. Ooh, looks like Ryzon dev their capital pretty good. 32. That's pretty good. I will take it. Um, so yeah, we're now we're just waiting for... So, has Greece still not shown up yet? Has not. Bummer. Transylvania. I could give some land to Bulgaria. So I could give this to Wallachia. Uh, 
And I can give some of this to Bulgaria. Uh-huh. And let's give him that one as well. So let's see what sort of war score that's looking like. Oh, I can do way more. Oh, uh, and then let's also give him Macedon or Macedonia or whatever you want to call it. Uh, all right, and these guys there. So easy peasy. That's a that's a really good war war goal or war um. <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking for? Outcome. Uh, yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. So we're going to have to probably peace out these guys before we can do much. Meaning I'm going to have to really get some men over here. Um, I don't understand how they're fielding so many men. Like their debt must be insane. If that's the kind of armies that they're putting out. <clears throat> like 7k. That's crazy. Um, let's, uh, let's keep Constantine over here. Uh, let's convert this stuff. How? What in the world? What? How many? They have so much more discipline than me. They, I have way more morale, but they have just 10% more discipline. So their absolutism is about the same as me. Traditions and... Alright. Fine. And he's gonna flee all the way up to here. Very cool. <laughs> All right, um, so where are you going, Ryzon? Let's just keep you there then. We'll do a doom stack and just start running around wiping them out. We're gonna have to. There's no way we're gonna get this piece unless we kill some Ottoman armies. We must remove Kebab. All right, so we got our uh, uh, Fedor, who is actually strict. So we've got a little bit more. Um, Let's see if we can get some discipline. Very good. Give you a level two. And then let's see if we can come over here and stack wipe a couple of these armies. Because we're going to need to for sure. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can... Oh. He attacked me. As, he didn't take a river crossing though? That seems a little strange. I could have sworn that he was crossing a river right here. But... The computer gets special treatment, I think. I think that's the way that that works. So Gazakamook wants out pretty soon. I will be happy to oblige that. All right, so let's see here. Um, do we have, we have the wrong one. So we're gonna go with you, and that's gonna give us a ton. Yeah, 116 uh, discipline. Very good. Um, don't care a whole lot, so that's good. All right, so you're coming over into this one. So let's force march over here. See if we can. We lost Crimea, bummer. Okay, I mean honestly, at this point now, I'm just gonna completely just bury him financially. Um, oh, eight thousand debt. That's a that's a that's a chunk right there. A hefty amount of money. All right, so let's see here. Are we gonna fight them? May yep, we are. Cool. Stack white? No stack white. Bummer. All right, let's see if we can get another fight over here. Sorry, Sin. All right, so let's get over here and see if we can force march up, catch him in Saratov. I don't understand how I'm force marching and he is so much faster than me. That does not make sense, honestly. And he's got a force march over here. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna lose this one. Fine. You just lost 20,000 men though and you have no manpower, so hopefully it was worth it. So, Gazakamook, I want you to peace out ASAP, brother. <sighs> the Ottoman pylon methodology. Very effective. Converting guys still. So let's just uh, keep them going. Look at that. It's a nice orthodox map mode. 
Uh, okay. Oh, maybe we were running in with no leader. That might have been an issue. So let's get you over here. Very good. So you're coming up to this one. So let's see if we can catch you over there. Very good. Steps, so we're going to be able to just spank him. Very good. No stack wipe, though. Bummer. So, Furnace. Gazic Mook, I need you out. You got to leave, man. I need to siege all this stuff back as well. He's probably getting some pretty decent attrition. No, he's not getting any, actually. Alright, let's see if we can catch him over here. Very good. That's a good one. Alright, um... So, Yemen wants out, which is perfect. That frees up a ton. Oh, yeah. They're done for. They're done for. Foreign debt is too much to handle. All right, so as soon as Gazic Mook wants out, then we're going to be able to uh, probably get our peace deal. Um, just need to wait on Yemen to, or not Yemen, on uh, Prussia to siege down all the provinces or his capital, if you would please. Um, how do we do that? No objective, let's go with Prussia. Or they can siege down Ostracon, that's that's fine with me as well. It belongs to Mother Russia. Very cool. So we just got a bunch of claims on steps that we already own. Oh wow, got a lot of land over here. Yeah. Alright. Uh, honestly, I think we need to start expanding into uh, Asia more. I feel like I've been a bit lazy at that. Gazika Mook, please leave. I want to uh, finish up this before I um, this war before I end the episode. All right, cool. Um, okay, that's fine. All right, cool. Let's piece that out. Wallachia and Bulgaria are now strong. Um, yeah, cool. Alright, so if you guys want to, go ahead and check out the Discord link below and my Twitter if you guys want to keep up to date with what's going on on the channel, or if you just want to join the community and have some uh, fun socialization. If you guys like the video, please show your support and leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more of this, you can subscribe, and if you ding the bell icon, it'll send you a notification every time I upload, which is the best way to keep up to date with what's going on on the channel. But with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.